Singapore is not a country that rests on its laurels. There seems to be an eternal, persistent restlessness about Singapore. Singapore always has to do things slightly differently, slightly better than it was doing before. And that's exactly the same as how politics has to be as well. If you stop thinking about the day after, and next week and next year, then people will stop thinking about you uh, in return. Lord Peter Mandelson, one of Britain's most colourful political figures, made the comment during a talk organised by the Singapore Press Club and Raffles Hotel. Here to promote his best-selling autobiography, The Third Man, he said Singapore and the UK are identical in many ways and we can learn from each other's success. These are lessons that we took from Singapore, essentially a new model of capitalism, uh, uh, of a market uh, economy, but also an econ a society that, that's based on fair chances of opportunity for all. Lord Mendelssohn played a key role in reshaping British politics during his career from 1992 to 2010. The 56-year-old politician has worked closely with two of Britain's former prime ministers, Tony Blair and Gordon Brown, and was the director of the Labour Party's successful general election campaign in 1997. And he credits Singapore's minister mentor Lee Kuan Yew as one man who inspired him. What he started here is quite extraordinary and... Uh, and what he has taught me in our conversations has also been quite extraordinary for me about Singapore and its success and its model, about Asia, about China, um, about leadership uh, above all. And what he has done and those who have worked for him and with him uh, in Singapore is give the rest of the world a very strong object lesson in leadership. And that's why he will... Uh, remain and go down in history as one of the most distinguished political leaders uh, of the last century. Despite Asia's success, Lord Mendelssohn said the West still has more to offer. You're doing a lot right, but you don't have the monopoly of wisdom. <laughs> Secondly, we still have a lot to offer. I mean, not only our know-how and our investment, but also our markets in North America uh, and in Europe, which are are huge, have massive disposable income and want to buy the sorts of things you're becoming increasingly good at producing and providing. And that thirdly and most importantly, this world is not going to thrive or prosper. Uh, not us, not Singapore, not the West, not Asia by pursuing beggar-your-neighbour policies. For the question and answer section, watch the following clips.